Alright, so a big welcome once again to this particular platform. Kwame Sifakain, for those of you who saw the news and who saw the title, Amar Rashiabano, yes, there is a news concerning uh, Anna, the death rumors of popular Peace FM host Kwame Sifakain. Kwame Sifakain works with Despite Media. He's been there for years, but particularly Bibi Oyejimano, he's a morning show host of Peace FM. Now, he has brought something online. And I'm back in Simbi, I'm out for a uh, cancer. No. Um, in Semoho. So, if you don't know, many, many, many years ago, Kwame Sifakain, he, we all recall, say we, we, we got the news of Kwame Sifakain, a rational ambulance, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, horrific story, but thank God he survived. You know, he collapsed at the workplace. He'd been wounded in the hospital, acquired surgery, and thank God, sir, he is now fit because he's, you see how he's really helping and his voice or the work Ghana. But in a lengthy statement, you know, he said that he's actually uh, been through certain things. Uh, yeah, he's been through, you know, I was so sure, and there was a timer. Uh, they pronounce him there. So what is Kwame Sifakai actually say? Now, according to the morning show host, as you can see, in some of kind in me, according to the morning show host, no, he's saying he said he was pronounced dead on Facebook whilst he was sleeping at home. Now, this was because of an issue and then of about how and now what why is we we brought in vivid evidence. Do you know say a couple of years ago, about two or three years ago, I was sleeping at around two a.m. when someone called my wife when she picked that the person asked of my whereabouts and she said I was beside her. It was many years ago. Um Obi friend how much three years ago be friend no be friend you know when you know if you be friend you know because I'm not so calm and damn insane. I know see okay. No, so the person then said all right I'll call you back and, and hang up. In teaching any pants over friend back. But meanwhile my next door no neighbor had been told and he didn't know whether to come home or not. So, uh, as at dawn, he was, uh, he will intermittently, intermittently, <laughs> intermittently come out and check whether there's any action going on in our compound and then go back after seeing nothing. News news spread, yes, we go out to the stands and next day, no background, on the cry, so tea. Into a one with people through compound say, You better say, Hey, come you cool, come you woo, come you another way die, okay? Uh -huh, that kind of thing. We'll be saving him soon. We super, we super eat you have a cat. It's you know, a ban is on the next door, never not check it. We'll soak it, be on Cosmo and Quada, no asamba. Or see, he kept it at, he kept at it and couldn't sleep till daybreak. He shared with panelists on his show, uh, yesterday. That's July 2023. His revelation was part of a discussion on the show about false reports of former President John Kufo in the same media. So, this whole thing is as a result of John Ejekun Kufo reports by Sibu Wai Bra Umuyen and also Air Shenid. Sivakan disclosed the news about disclosed the news about his supposed death, how he, how it has spread wide and gotten the attention of colleagues and employers. Or part of say uh, spread it to the extent he said. I woke up the next morning to plenty messages. Very unusual. God bless you amongst others from people I didn't even heard of from the past three years. I didn't even bother about it and it drove I drove to work about 10 minutes to 6. A man called me and I was almost at work and he started speaking. My father's tongue, which is an error. He asked me how I was doing and told me I'm fine. And I told him I'm fine. He said he was just checking up on me because he has not heard from me in a while. He wishes me well, and now whatever I hear, I should pray about it and ignore. If I can do it, my mom for the ball don't pay me. He said, What is any idea? If I can reveal, uh, finally revealed, if I can reveal, uh, he finally understood the situation after his boss informed him about the news. Into do it, you know, and the boss, Father Dixon, he says, Ah, now you see who we are then. So it was my boss, Father Dixon, who finally came to me to say, Ah, they say you die. So I asked who say I die and I was sent a Facebook post. I said these people should wait for me to attend uh, to attain at least 50 years. But I was uh, 50 years old, he said. The office of the former president Kufa has released a statement uh, in, reacts, in, in reaction to that particular. So basically, you know, uh, Sifakai was just saying at a point in time, you can say, 
so I fall to more senior there and there also I'm on also a fallen victim and then he was using this to say that he's not dead and Ghanaians should stop saying things are in him see who reports will be who I am able to try not yet you need to verify so so this was coming to fact I said that a trend on social media so if I can definitely see trending on social media that is what is really trending some more kind of trigger this particular trends Hi guys and welcome you all to Daily Change right here on Penax News. We have with us Ayona, a dancehall artist who is going to tell us more about herself. Hello dear, you're welcome to our show. Hi, what's up? Cool, can you tell us about yourself? Hi guys and welcome you all to Daily Change right here on Penax News. We have with us Ayona, a dancehall artist who is going to tell us more about herself. Hello dear, you're welcome to our show. Hi, what's up? What's well, there's this artist, he's called Wallasi. You know, I miss f even though. Well, there's this artist, he's called Wallasi. You know, I miss f even though I'm an artist too, like, I am a fan of his music, you know, of his brand and everything. You know, I think he's a great talent, but as usual, you know how Ghana works. If people don't, are not really, uh, it's not, you're not doing the kind of music everybody else is doing, I'm not sure I'll start be. You know, but that guy is amazing. That guy is amazing. So do you wish to date him or you have somebody you wish to date? Oh me, I told you already I'm dating all my male fans. If I if, if I date Walasi, I'll break their hearts. I don't want to break their hearts. I'm for my male fans. Is it because he is a ladies' man? Walasi. I don't know if he's a ladies' man though. I don't know. He looks like a calm person, but I'm sure he he might be bad in other ways. I don't know. I'm just saying. People are saying you are Ebony's look alike. Do you take that for granted? Or you think it's a privilege? Oh, it's not a problem. I mean, there are a lot of people who look like a lot of people. It is very a normal phenomenon of life. People look like people. It's not something strange. My only problem with it is when people want to be insultive about it and they think you are trying to copy her. You know, it's, it's very draining. If I look like somebody, I cannot change that fact. It is... Structure. I can go and change my face or whatever, you know. But I've learned with time that Ghanaians are like that, and so, yeah. I, I, of course, there are people who love me as well because they feel I look like her, you know. And I think she. I mean, she's an. She was an amazing personality for me to look like her. I think it's a plus. It's good. So, what are the traits about her you really like? She has an amazing smile, you know. When you meet someone and she's that person is pure, that they have pure energy, you can just feel it, you know. And I just, even though I didn't know her personally from afar, she looks like she, she's one of us, you know, the pure souls. She looks like she's one of us, so talent. That's what I liked about her, and she has an amazing voice. Obviously, really, really talented. You know, Ghana has really lost an amazing talent, and I blame Ghanaians. You know, I think that. There's something called the power of the tank. A lot of people said so much about that young girl. And I think we drove her to whatever thing happened to her. We should all be ashamed of ourselves as Ghanaians. The way we treat our people, you know, the way we say stuff. We should be careful. She's also somebody's daughter. We said that people who, like me, somebody will come and write, Ayuna Rene, rest in peace. You know, I mean, why? Is it funny to, to talk about death in that line? People do that. You know, so I think we killed her, and we do not even have the right to come back and be saying, oh, our queen is gone, and we loved her. It's, it's so hypocritical of us, you know, because we have, we have pushed her. Me, I just think that we killed her, you know, with all the bad things we're saying about it. So we should be careful the way we reign things over people's children in this country. In fact, I'm really sad right now. <laughs> Ghanaians indeed. Well, there are a lot of people who are your fans and they really want to hear something from you. Tell us something. Well, I really want to say a very big thank you for all the support and love. It has been an amazing journey. It's been three years of doing music and it's really been an amazing journey. The support, the love that people have given me. It's just amazing. People just meet you and they want to help you. People will just meet you and they are crazy about you. I really thank my fans, the Rene Ami and the Ayo Lovers. Thank you. I love you. You know, the boys, one and only girlfriend. I love you guys too much. Mwah. As you can see, the conversation is almost coming to an end. But before you go, I want you to name the hottest five musicians in Ghana that you think are here. Hottest. Male hottest. Well, Lassie, of course. That guy, he does all sorts of things to me. 
in my mind, anyway. So Walasi is one. And who else? Sakodi. You know, he has this, he has this aura around him. Anyway, he's a mild man, so no go area. Uh, hey, the man, who else is sexy? Mm. Who else is sexy? Who else? So I've mentioned just two, and I'm struggling like that. Okay, I think Shatawale is sexy in his own way. Yeah, he has, you know, some women like men who are very, you know, aggressive, and, you know, they want to take over the world, the feel, you know, so that makes him very hot, you know. <laughs> and I think Stone Boy is also amazing. Uh, hey, it has some more. Yeah, the last on my list is Patapa. Yeah, he's also, you know, he has this cute hair thing going on with him. You know, and he's, even his hairstyle is, you know, is a put on for some people. Now he's married, you know, so for him to be married means the guy is sexy. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, I was even thinking you'll be mentioning Kwame Eugene, Kiddy, and those guys. Oh, those people, Kwame Eugene and Kiddy, me, I feel so almost, you know, I'm, I'm not a little girl, so I, I actually don't like.